Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have this really dramatic I look for you. I don't know where this came from, but I was just digging through my MAC shadows and I was like, you know what? I'm pulling out cop ring. I'm pulling up all the glitters and nylon and all my fun colors and I just came up with this look. It was just something kind of dramatic. Uh, yeah, like full on dramatic eyes, dramatic lips. So this is, this is it. This is it. If you guys want to learn how to recreate this look and all the products that I used, then just keep watching. Hi guys, so this is take two of oh my get ready with me. Yeah, it's true. Meltdown, one, gone, finished, done. We're starting again. So I'm just going to get ready, yeah. And let's just get started. I'm gonna be using all my MAC shadows today because I have a butt load. Boop. This is only a portion. Don't judge a girl because she likes her MAC, okay? So, do, 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 do. let's try to do something different today. Let's try to do something different today. It's not likely because I'm not capable. All right, let's start with orb eyeshadow. We're gonna put that on a Mac 239. We're gonna use that as our highlight today. I'm probably gonna go in with a lighter highlight at some point. I'm really thinking I might want to do like kind of light eyes and dramatic wing, dark lips. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I haven't done anything funky in a while, but like, oh, I'm just not in the mood for funky right now. We're gonna keep it on the warmer side, so let's go with soft brown with my Sigma E40 right in the shadow. Let's put a sucker in the crease. All right, there we go. So today is Sunday, January 16th, I believe. Uh, yeah, and I'm wearing this funky, like, 60s kind of dress, and I love it. It's from Gwenny B. Yes, it's so pretty. I don't know if you guys, you guys have been watching my channel the last few months. I've been really getting into fashion videos and stuff like that because I suck at fashion, and I was like, you know what? I want to try to do something different. So I started doing fashion videos, and Gwenny B is a company that caters more towards people of my size, which are size 10 and above. <laughs> so Let's do Copperfield. Copper ring. Copperfield. I just saw an advertisement for Cloverfield, so I think that's in my head. Um, let's go with Copper ring, and we're going to put that on the outer third of our eyelid. Copper ring. Actually, let's do a half. Fuck Let's do half. Yeah. I don't know if you guys have seen the advertisement for Cloverfield, but, um,. You know the the sequel, but I don't. You have to tell me if you plan on going. I didn't like the first movie. I know um, one of the doctors I work for like went ham over it. He thought it was like the best movie of, of ever, and I didn't like it. Ooh, look at how blue. Actually, look how green this is making my eyes look. My eyes shift color. Like sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're green. I'm just like a chameleon, crazy. And let's just blend. Let's blend that a little bit. Let's see what that does when I blend it. Like, look how pretty that is. That's it. We're done. We're done. Done with the uh, We're going to take, I think this is all that glitters. Yeah, this is all that glitters. We're going to take all that glitters. And we're going to take this on the same MAC 239 we used before. We're crazy. Crazy. We're going to put that on the first half of our lid. Go wild. We're like a wild stallion. Nobody can tame me. Okay. You know. And let's go back with coppering. My other brush. I'm gonna make a little blendy, blendy gradient. Yeah, guys. I <laughs> I started a tutorial, and it took me about five minutes to be like trash. <laughs> like I trashed it completely. I tried out. Let me just not be mean about it, but I tried, I tried this, the e.l.f. thing that looked like, I, I hauled it like a month ago, it's supposed to remind us of the Urban Decay Vice palette. It was so bad I couldn't even work with it, honestly, and the swatches were so good, but that happens sometimes, like swatches can be really good, but then the palette is like shit. It was just so bad, and I can't fake a tutorial when it's that bad, like, when it comes out that bad, I just have to stop. 
All right, so now I'm going to take a little brush like this. This is an overpriced Hakahode brush. <laughs> it's a J146. But you can also use this by Sigma. But I wanted like a little bit, this is the Sigma E36, but I wanted something that had like a little bit more, um, a little bit more fibers, you know? You know what I mean? Okay. And I'm going to take that right into the deepest part of the crease. And I'm just going to wiggle it around. Like this, do 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 like that. Oh, I'm, I didn't even tell you what I'm using. I'm using Embark by Mac for the chocolatey brown. It's actually like a deep brown. It's not even chocolatey. It's like dark chocolate. So I'm just gonna take this little Morphe MB11, and I'm gonna take coppering. Made for it. And we're gonna go onto the lower lid. Right on top of that, I'm going to take a little Morphe MB18 with Embark, which was the brown ash shadow. Ass shadow. <laughs> We're going to put that right underneath. We're just going to go in with a little bit more coppering and slaving this up a little. Okay, I think we're done with the eyeshadow. I think we are plenty ridiculous right now. I'm going to take a little bit of nylon. Yeah a little bit of nylon eyeshadow going right on top of where we put all that glitters because it's not as it's not obnoxious enough for me okay for liner we're going to use our Kat Von D liner look how I gotta get the mirror so close okay do this this is the Kat Von D liner I'm gonna start yeah let's just let's go for it Yes, I pull my eyelid, so don't judge me. Okay, so my wings got really, really thick. But that's okay, because that's part. Of, that's part of life. This is what happens. Like, I, seriously, I covered up like half my eyeshadow. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do? Where's my eyeshadow? I'm going to take the deep brown that I used, which is in bark, and I'm going to just deepen it up right here. Because <laughs> I have to, because otherwise you're not going to see it. Okay. I'm going to go in with my NARS Via Vanilla pencil. We're going to tighten the hell out of this upper lash line. And we're going to go on to the lower lash line. Let's smudge this out. Let's put a crap load. Put a crap ton of mascara on. I'm gonna start with Clump Crusher. I think we're gonna need false lashes with this look because it's the, the eyeliner is so thick that my lashes are just gonna disappear. Okay, what we're gonna do is put on false lashes because this this is not gonna work with the mascara. So I'm gonna put on this right here, which is my Ardell 120s, and I will be right back. All right, we gotta clean up these under eyes because they are looking jank. I put the lashes on, made them look, look better. Okay, so let's put some under eye ridiculousness on just to cover this clean up, fallout. And we'll go with the blue blender because that's what we were using before. Okay. So let's powder it up. I'm gonna use my Serenity Scott press powder. Um, under eye, my Inglot 4SS brush. I'm gonna use this brush. This is the uh, this is the Elf buffing brush. Like I've been like buffing my powder in a little bit with this, and I really like it. Really meant for that, but hey. You gotta use brushes how you like to use them and what you feel as though they're meant for. This is the e.l.f. brush. This is just some random brush that I just pulled out of my stash. Let's just use this because we feel like it. There's a little something. Like that. Okay. 
Okay. Contour. Just a little. Put me a little up here. Let's, let's go up here with a little bit. You know what? I've got a double chin. Let's get rid of it. Let's get rid of it. Let's contour. The duplicate chin. This is the duplicate chin. Somebody can copy and paste it another chin onto my chin. I'm gonna get my ambient lighting powder. First of all, I'm gonna do the darker one, which is dim light under the eyes. Because it makes under eyes glow. Aren't I glowing now? My forehead. Yes. Okay, and let's get. Let's get. There we are. Vasanti one. We're gonna get this. For the highlighting, the incandescent, incandescent light, right here. What's, what's the highlight for this? Ooh. Ooh, I feel like all of us are the beauty ladies. Highlight like crazy. Ooh. So stunning. So stunning. I never highlight like that. <laughs> I'm in the mood today. I'm gonna do my mood exposure blush. I'm just gonna a little, little bit, a little bit, because we were doing a little bit of everything else. I feel so like heavily contoured today. <laughs> I don't usually contour like this, so I feel a little cray, crazy. All right. So we're done with the face. Let's figure out what we want to do with these eyes. Uh, the, the eyes. Oh, we didn't finish the eyes. Samantha. Yes, we didn't finish the eyes. Okay. Because we wiped away some of the eye business with the under eye concealer. Let's just go in with a little bit of coppering. And let's go under the eyes with that again. Coppering, check, and now let's do a mascara. A lot of people like the way I say mascara for some reason. I guess that's because I'm from New York. Okay, and yeah, I'm from New York. So you guys know this. You know this. Alright, let's let's go on with bottom lash by Clinique. I feel like I don't look like myself. Do you ever feel like that? Like I feel like right now with my makeup on, I do not feel like myself. Okay, because everything else is just so freaking dramatic, let's just go dramatic on the lips. We're going for Night Moth by MAC, which needs to be sharpened. Don't you hate it when you sharpen a pencil and then the tip falls out? It's just the worst. It's like the worst ever. It's probably because I have the worst sharpener in the world and I just threw it out. Alright, so Night Moth by MAC. Let's, let's put this on. Okay, now we're gonna go in with Sin by MAC. I put a little bit more red than this color, but it's all right. I usually use like burgundy, but I feel like sometimes it's a little too, I don't know. A little too light. The girl should have exfoliated her lips before she did this. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go do my hairs, and I'll be back. I'll be back. Okay, guys, so this is the finished look. I went and did my hair. Um, yeah, let me bring you up close so you can see what the eyes look like with the lashes and all that so stuff. So this is what the eyes look like all finished. Um, yeah, I really love the way they came out. Um, I love coppering. I don't know why I don't use it more. So these are the Cheapy Ardell 120 lashes. Yeah. enjoyed this tutorial I know it's a little comedic a little silly I uh, remember this is my second go of it today you know this wasn't the first time we tried to do a beauty tutorial today uh, the first time didn't work out so well <laughs> listen if you guys really like this look and you recreate it I'd love to see what it looks like on you so tag me on social media I will put it all actually it's already in the description bar for you guys along with all the products I use in this tutorial um, I love you guys I had a lot of fun creating this and I hope you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up because then it shows me that that's the kind of video you want to see more of subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time bye guys